your newly elected council members will consider whether to cut their own pay. The decision will be one of their first acts as an elected body, and our Alicia Enns is here to explain why. Good morning. Good morning. The current process at City Hall does not give the mayor or any of the city council members the option to decrease their individual compensation set in the city's budget and then to shift those funds to other areas or into their office budgets. The resolution on today's agenda would allow the city manager to change the current budgeting structure so that council members could, in fact, cut their salary and move that money around. Mayor Steve Adler and District 1 Councilmember Aura Houston co-sponsored this item. And publisher of the Austin Monitor, Mike Kanan, says this is a good move for getting good quality talent into the city council. And he says it looks good for members because they get to say they slash their pay. This is an interesting twist. Um, you know, one of the things that, that one might hear from an aide prior to this, this council is that their salaries were somewhat trapped by those of the council members because, um, you know, you can't really have a high, as, from what we heard, you couldn't really have a salary higher than your council member. And so a lot of these folks were not getting paid what they might get on the open market. Now, not all council members are 100% on board with this. Some of them tell me this adds political pressure to members who may be the sole providers for their families and can't take a cut. Council members and the mayor will host a town hall meeting tonight. They want to hear what you think about making city government more user friendly. We'll have those details in the next 30 minutes. Brian. Okay, thanks, Alicia. Council members will also look into legal issues for the Austin Fire Department's hiring process. Last year, a judge gave the green light to a deal between the city and the federal government to hire new firefighters. It ended a period of more than a year where the Austin Fire Department froze new hires as the U.S. Department of Justice investigated claims of discrimination. The city ended up settling out of court.